Hello, this is Jane Goodall, and I'm speaking to you on July the 14th, 2018, the very first World Chimpanzee Day. And it just happens to be July the 14th, 1960, nearly 60 years ago, that I set foot in Gombe National Park to start the study of chimpanzees there. And since that time, we've learned so much about our closest relatives not only from the Gombe studies, but also other studies that began subsequently in other parts of Africa. We know that they're closest to us biologically. I mean, we share uh, more than 98% of our DNA with them. Uh, they have vivid personalities. They have emotions, happiness, sadness, fear, despair, similar, perhaps the same as ours. They grieve when a companion dies. They have these long-term supportive bonds, particularly between family members. They have communication gestures and postures just about the same as us, kissing, embracing, holding hands, patting one another on the back, uh, kissing and shaking the fist. They use and make tools, something once thought to be unique to us. And so it's very sad to realize that these closest animal relatives of ours who've helped us to better understand our position in the animal kingdom, that we're part of and not separated from this wonderful animal kingdom. So it's really sad to learn that right across Africa, these amazing chimpanzee beings are decreasing in number. When I began studying chimpanzees in 1960, there were maybe between um, one and two million chimpanzees right across 25 African nations, right across this equatorial forest belt and into West Africa. And today, 300, 350,000 maximum, and so many of them in small fragmented groups with little help of long-term survival, little hope of long-term survival. And this decline is due particularly to the destruction of their forest habitats, but also to the, uh, the bushmeat trade, that is the commercial hunting of wild animals for food, shooting mothers to sell their babies for entertainment, to send them overseas for pets, and in the old days, medical research. And also, chimpanzee numbers are decreasing because they are susceptible to all known human contagious diseases. They're so like us. And ever-growing human populations are moving deeper and deeper into the forests, exposing the chimps to risk of our diseases. And so it's desperately important today that we do all that we can to help these close relatives of ours. The Jane Goodall Institute and other conservation NGOs are working in different African countries. Uh, JGI is in six countries helping to conserve and study the chimpanzees there, and other organizations are covering chimpanzees in different parts of their range. But we're learning they have different cultures. It's desperately important to learn as much as we can about this before it's too late. It, it helps us have a better feeling for how like us these amazing chimpanzees are. So in order to conserve them, we work to improve the lives of people living in and around chimpanzee habitat so that they become our partners, not our competitors. And they are helping us with chimpanzee conservation and education programs so that people begin to understand and realize the importance of conserving the environment, not only for the chimpanzees, but for themselves and their own future. So on this first World Chimpanzee Day, we are making some headway. We are saving chimpanzees in many parts of Africa. There's a lot more we need to do. I hope all of you will help share the message that we need to do anything we can, the message that chimpanzees are important and deserve our concern. And I'll end up with a message from the chimpanzees themselves. And perhaps
perhaps you would like to try and uh, make that pantoot it's called, which simply says, mine, this is me, this is Jane. If you make a pantoot, that will say, that is you, whoever you are. So join us, have some fun, and help us. Thank you.